it's a tough question. I think probably a piece of work that I'm most proud of was a piece of work that ended up, ended up us getting sacked by the client. And that was a piece for Dr. Pepper. And I'm kind of, I think I'm most proud of it because lots of times, especially in digital, you do work and you don't really hear of anyone kind of talking about it. But I was at my niece's 21st um, birthday and her and a group of mates who were kind of the target audience were in the garden. I was overhearing them talking about this. They didn't even know, I'd, uh, you know, uh, my agency created it. Um, and I overheard them talking about this project. And I thought, you know, I've got a real kind of good feeling inside because it, 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 re it really happens in lots of work we do. Um, and it was, a, it, was a, it was a complete success. Um, it was great for the brand, but maybe not for the mothership, which was Coca-Cola. We had this project called Nonstop Fernando, and the idea was to take this um, chap speaking for 14 hours and 40 minutes. And we wanted to do this kind of authentically, so it had to be done in like one take. And we saw five or six production companies, um, and all of them, bar one, said you couldn't do it in one take. And they'd want to do it, you know, over the course of a series of days or, you know, cut. And then, but we said, no, it had, to be, it had to be authentic. And that's what will, you know, make it a success. Um, so, yeah, we went with the one company who said, yeah, we, we, can, we can do this. Um, and, and we did it. And I'm sure it was nerve-wracking. But because we did it, it, it made it successful. And if we'd done it any other way, then I think, um, you know, people would have seen through it. And it, it wouldn't, have been, wouldn't have been real.